Hello, welcome back. Hope you're all well. Right, I'm going to start on the Westie now. Uh, there's plenty of videos on my channel with the Westwood on it. A bit old, but there's, there are some on here. Sort of a 10 second recap. Um, it's a Westwood 21300. What uh, I got from my boy when he was about 10, something like that. Uh, all he ever done to it was change the tyres. Um, took the grass cutting stuff off, uh, separated the clutch and the brake that's on one pedal. Now it's, well, it's not, <laughs> you'll see in a minute with the brakes, but um, it was on a separate lever, brakes were on a separate lever. That's it, that's all we ever done to it. Um, obviously, he's nearly as big as me now, oh, he's about sort of an inch off of me, he's about the same height as me, and he's, he's growing all the time. So now it's time to make it into a proper mud mower or an off-road machine. Um, there's some bits I need to just restore on it and you know like normal restoring stuff but obviously as well we're going to make it into a mud mower. So I'm going to get a quick look around it. I'm having loads of trouble with the camera. Um, it won't do certain things I want it to do like start and stop and uh, time lapse and all this sort of stuff. I can't get the menu up. So I'm having real problems with it. So I apologise for that but hopefully we get that sorted. Right, let's have a look around it. Right, like I was saying, it's a T1300, so it's got the 12 and a half horse engine in it, or oh, it's labelled up as a 12 and a half. Um, we all know the, how they judge the horsepower on these, <laughs> by whatever sticker they pick out. Um, yeah, it was really clean when we got it. I've got a light buzzing, you won't be able to hear it. Um, yeah, so it was really clean when we got it, but it has got a bit of rot in the, the bottom down here now. And um, you can actually see that they were red, like a cow necks really. Um, but they all faded to an orange. Bonnet I had a little weld, you know, a little tack in it just so we could. Uh, use it when we took our last time but obviously I've got to reinforce that this is one of the this is our own I don't know how we can see it but this is our own bodge what isn't even straight like they have attempt to straighten it but they have strengthen it but uh, yeah so we need to do we need to do lots to it so I'm going to strip most of it down to strengthen the chassis the axle needs a lock in so we need to do that the diff and there's loads of loads of loads of little bits of strengthening we need to do and uh, obviously it's not going to go out in this colour <laughs> not the, well, that's the plan anyway but uh, I'll try, try to do it a bit more detailed and cover most of, most of it can't cover every little thing but we have got that and obviously we've still got the the Murray underneath all that rubbish there you can see most of it there look, the Murray to build as well so, uh, right, we're going to get on with it. Like I say, it'll probably be a bit of a, a, bit of a slow build, but uh, with that way we can get more detail in. So I'm going to get it up in the air first, get the bonnet off, and then we can uh, see about taking the engine out. Right, hopefully you can see. Uh, as you can see, I'll put the back end up on ramps, and I don't know where you can see this, because the shadow of the house. The frame I'll put on... Uh, Axle stands. Now, don't do this because it's really a bad thing to do. So, don't do this <laughs> because if I take the engine out and disconnect the belt, there's nothing to stop the back wheels rolling down that uh, ramp because obviously it's in gear at the moment. But as soon as I take the belt off, it can roll. So, um, don't do this. But this is just to get the bonnet off, so I can have a look and I want to have a look underneath it before I do anything else um, yeah what will be interesting, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier but what will be interesting is how many times you see Louis in the videos on this so this is, this is his machine <laughs> wait it's my machine but you know what I'm saying um, yeah so don't do that, don't put it on ramps and then disconnect the belt because it will be down on top of your head and um, I know that I couldn't lift this one up or for me, if it laid across my chest with that axle um, across my chest, I'd be absolutely had it. 
So, uh, like I said, don't do that at home. Well, we're going to get this bonnet off so we're going to have a better look at it um, and have a look how it's built and everything else. Right, that's the uh, bonnet off. I reckon that bonnet weighs as much as all that Murray tin work all together, as much as the sun. I reckon it's the same weight in that as there is in that Murray stuff up the back there. Um, I don't know if it's the weight in the plastic or it's the weight in the metal, I don't know. But it feels bloody heavy uh, lifting it off of there. Uh, obviously it's only two bolts, so it's a normal bonnet. Um, I'm not quite sure how we're going to mount it when it goes back. Um, I suppose to start off with it will be mounted the normal way and then, like I said, we are going to do several things to it, but over, over time, you know. Um, as you can see, there's the engine. Um, trying to do so without the tripod. So, like I said, because the camera's playing up a little bit, well, a lot, it's uh, a bit of a job to film it all. Um, what the plan is to take the engine off, and um, I'm not sure if I'm going to just rebuild it, but I want to get it started running again because it hasn't been run for a long time. As you can see by the state of the carbon, I don't know how long it's been, a couple of years, I should imagine. You can check out the videos on the channel. And I think, to be honest with you, I think them videos of it last running, when we took it for a test run before, was probably a year old before we even put them on. But, uh, yeah, so we've got to get in there. At least you can see a bit better now. And the bracket's missing off the tank. I don't know what's happened now. I'll have to see if Louis's got it in his box. I've got to tie all his stuff out, as you know. Um, but yeah, at least you can see what's what now. It's not a bad chassis for a, a pan, you know, flat pan chassis. It's uh, not bad at all. Now, if you're interested in off-road stuff, and uh, my mum's all just sort of, you know, you're not sure about it, you want to check it out. We have got a Facebook group called UK uh, Mud Mowers. Um, what um, we haven't really played on, well, I haven't been on a lot for the last year or so um, since lockdown started. But you don't have to be from the UK to join the group. Uh, it's just we share knowledge and everything else. But uh, over here, it's, very, it's a very quiet thing over in the UK mud mowers and uh, off-road mowers it's very much underground um, not like across the pond where you do everything with mowers and they do drag racing and demolition derbies and all that we we don't seem to do anything over here with them so like I say check it out uh, UK mud mowers on Facebook because it um, you know it'd be uh, interesting to see other point, people point, points of view um, I've also got the UK Mud Mower channel, but we haven't put nothing on there for a long, long time. Maybe we'll have to start doing that if we get enough interest. But, uh, right, so that's how far we've got for tonight. Um, and then uh, tomorrow night we'll do a little bit more. Well, actually, I might do a bit more now, actually. Oh, it's bloody good. Right, um, I don't know how far I got before I had to stop filming because the camera. Um, packed in and even now I can't see the viewfinder or nothing like that so I've no idea what I'm filming <laughs> a bit like normal really but um, yeah I've got real problems with the camera so um, I'm gonna have to get it sorted out I'll get this one repaired or get another camera so I may be away from this for a couple of weeks but after waiting a couple of days I've decided just to crack on with it so I've got the engine off just now um, I'm saying I'm going to turn the engine off, four bolts. I don't think I'm pointing the engine, I don't know if you can see it even. Um, another couple of bolts for this little cross member underneath just to get to the, the belts. Uh, that's about it, really. Uh, the next job will be taking the wire on off. And I'm going to turn it around, take the mud guards off, wheel arches, whatever you want to call them, um, off the back. Because I've never looked inside to check it out. so going to get all that off um, and then uh, a bit taking this off dropping the axles and you know you know where we're going with this so basically I've got the flat chassis or frame whatever you want to call it a pan um, to start stiffening it up in places where I want it stiffened 
I'm not going to go over the top with the uh, stiffener that because I'd like a little bit of twist in it. It's not a racing mower, it's you know, for off road. Um, like I said, I don't know how long I'm going to be without a camera. So, <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, I've, I don't know if you've seen that, that's the pulley, pulleys on it. Uh, they're about, I would say, two inch. And then you've got a PTO pulley, power takeoff pulley, dry pulley. And then normally on the end, you'd have your pulley on the bottom for your mower deck, but we took that off uh, a couple of years back. And uh, yeah, that's a bastard. <laughs> but uh, yeah, not too bad. Like so, got it off this afternoon. Um, I'm planning to carry on later this afternoon as well. But if you want to keep up with the project, um, Instagram and Twitter, um, and I've obviously got a like page on Facebook, which is all um, Colin Ketley um, doing stuff. Um, and but we've also got another group called UK Mud Mowers, and uh, I'll be putting stuff on there obviously because he's like the mud bar so uh yeah check that out you don't have to be in the uk to join that group either so if you're just interested in off-road mowers or whatever you know um and don't matter where you come from you can join it and if we can get enough people from the uk to do it maybe next year we'll put an event on um, but at the moment there's just not enough people from the uk to cover it but uh, yeah so check out the social media i will be putting photos up on Obviously, I'm not going to try to keep filming because it's pointless. Because I don't want to actually point the camera at. And um, and all that. So just keep an eye on a social, social, you know, like Instagram and all that crap. And uh, yeah, and like I say, I'll try to keep everybody up to date with it as I can. But I might be out for might only be out for a week, maybe a couple of weeks. It depends, you know. Like I say, as I get this camera fixed, or get a new one, or get another one, you know, I don't know. <laughs> got to look into it a bit more but anyway I'll leave it there because I've, I've, I can't delete anything off this so I've got to go through everything on the on the computer to to see what of course it'll take hours I reckon <laughs> so I'm going to leave it there um, right yeah so take it easy uh, remember it's okay to be okay it's not okay to be okay what am I on about it's okay not to be okay <laughs> um, yeah and I'll see you next time take it easy